Hi everyone, I'm Paul Muchurezi, a player of Mbarra City Football Club and Uganda Cranes. You're watching the Bloom Channel. Hi, nice to you? finally meet again. No. I mean, we've been like in high school like <laughs> a long time ago, and then all of a sudden we are like grown ups. It's been some quite good uh, long time, and you know, high school now we're back together, I know. working together. So it's no, yeah. it's, it's 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 a good thing, you know. Yeah. Connecting I mean, we back. stayed in like the same field. I know. Mm. Yeah, the only difference is. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're playing here in Barra City, uh, and, and, and you. Uh, no, like, okay, it's I get, I get, you understand, playing, yeah. So. That's it's a nice meeting you again. That we played in the same school, which mm. was quite big on football. Yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't wish to go back in the detail yeah. of high school. You okay. know better. You know I can't <laughs> say all that much. Yeah. But then, I, I'm really humbled to have you as a friend to know you because you've really made a change. Okay, you're among the people that made a change in my life when I was in high oh, school, wow. and <laughs> I was so impressed when I came to know that you're into this field. I know more into more into football. And I had to say, you know, why wouldn't I be with you? Why wouldn't I work with you? Yeah. Obviously, now we are hosting the um, the Senina Women's Development Cup for the first time in Barra, mm. and you're the Barra star in <laughs> Barra City. So I think, obviously, that I know you. I felt like you're the perfect match. Mm. You're scoring goals. Mm. You're playing for the national team. I mean, it's incredible that we both like done things in the game, but we need like people to to keep involving us so for me i feel like you're the perfect match to be our ambassador this year mm -hmm. and yeah it was good that you said yes to that yeah definitely i had to say yes and i wouldn't i wouldn't let that offer down because yeah. really as i said i you really i really i really treasure you in terms of football the way you've really tried to you know develop the football the game of football mostly on the side of ladies uh, which has not been you know active previously in the previous years here in uganda but now for the little time you've really come into with this tournament, with the development, at least there's been a change. There's been the great performance on the national team. The tournament has been able to raise some other, you know, some other youth who are girls who are now playing or who are, who are looking at to be on the national team or even on, you know, go, going professional. What's your view about women's football? Um, what do you think about women's football in general? Yeah, women's football, yeah, as I said previously in Uganda, it hasn't been so active, you know. They haven't been giving it time, not minding about the you know the young talent that is out there, and uh, with the tournament that you really you know the development that you've brought in Uganda really, there's no you can you can tell me you can fail to get talent out of the ladies or the girls, the young girls that are out there, getting a person from come from Kisoro, come from Tanzania, come from anywhere out there you know, uh, is something that is so impressive, something that is you know. Something that is trying to show that us that we can get that other talent from the you know from the villages from the you know distant places, uh, which has not been there because there's no other tournament, there's no other organization or development that can bring those people, you know, those young girls to come and gather together to you know to spot them out. Mm. Um, obviously, you being a, a national team player and the ambassador for this tournament. Um, do you have any expectations uh, with the Senate Women's Development Cup this year? And as an ambassador, how do you feel like you're going to contribute towards um, inspiring other women, being a man in the game, uh, getting them to play more um, in the game, and also other men to support women's football? Because it's not about just women helping women, mm. but it's also important to know that men can be supportive of the women's game as well. Yeah, I get you. So now it's uh, it's about it's about the perspective or the uh, the the way you're determined to to play football. Most of the times you find these girls. Actually, I have to say mostly in the West, we have the problem of uh, we do not look up to some people. But now the advantage is we have Paul Maturez. You're looking up to him in the West. There's something that you're benefiting out of him. The players now are the young girls, the young boys out here are all looking up to Paul. 
So they have to motivate these other girls out there to know that you can also make it. And with football, any time, any day, you can be somewhere. And you know, with the Sending the Women Development Tournament or Cup, we're going to make it. You know, I know the girls are going to be out. You know, they have to come and expose their talents. Whereby I know, not we cannot play this tournament. We cannot have this tournament here in Kacheka, and we leave the place without without having two or three girls, or yeah. even five, or even ten, or even twenty, who are, who, are, who are going to cross over to the league teams yeah. in Uganda. And I'm so sure we're going to have them here. Yeah, and. We can, maybe we should call them to come on the 24th. Yeah, definitely. Let everyone come uh, at Kacheka Stadium here. This is the place we are going to all be on 24th August. And uh, for us already here, we're going to be here up to 24th. So please come and join us. We are waiting for you.